there, I'm Jamie, registered dietitian nutritionist. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're gonna to be preparing a breakfast. Now I know breakfast is one of those meals that sometimes doesn't get the attention that it deserves. Eating a well-balanced breakfast is really important for your blood sugar levels. It's also important for your energy and for your mood and just feeling satisfied until you get to lunch. And oftentimes if you're not eating enough food at breakfast, if you're skipping breakfast completely, or if your breakfast isn't well-balanced, you're gonna find yourself thinking about food more frequently and also just being preoccupied with food and feeling like you can't wait till lunch because you're just so hungry. So let's see what's in my kitchen and what I can come up with for breakfast today. I'm pretty hungry, so let's get started. So as I'm preparing breakfast, I thought it would be helpful for me to share with you a couple of tips that are going to make preparing a nourishing and nutrient dense breakfast so much easier. So the first tip is before you even open the refrigerator and look for any of these ingredients, you're going to want to check in with your body and see how hungry you really are. So you might want to use the hunger fullness scale and decide where you fall on that so that you can see how hearty of a breakfast you need to make. And also just asking yourself, do I want something more sweet or do I want something more savory so that you can decide what direction to go. As you can see here, I went into the savory territory and I decided on making a breakfast taco that's like Mexican style. So my second tip for you is that you wanna keep all of your cookware, all of your utensils close by. When you have them close by, you'll be able to just reach for them when you need them and you won't have to go across the kitchen. This will make for a much smoother cooking experience and it'll save you some time in preparing your breakfast. So make sure that you have all of your bowls, all of your forks or spoons or spatulas, pots and pans. Make sure that they're not like tucked away in a hard to reach place so that you're less likely to even want to make breakfast because you have to bend all the way down to get them. I know it seems silly, but it's a little thing that can actually really be helpful. So my next tip is that you want to make sure that you're creating a balanced breakfast. And to do this, you want to make sure that you have all four of the essential macronutrients on your plate. In this case, it would be protein, fat, fiber, starchy carbohydrate. So as I was going through the refrigerator, I'm thinking, where is my protein? Where is my starchy carb? Where is my fiber rich carb? And where is my fat source coming from? And all of these different foods are providing that for me. So the eggs have the protein and the fat. I have scallion in there, which is going to offer fiber and then a ton of other veggies that offer fiber as well from the peppers to the microgreens to the cilantro and avocado, which you'll later see that I put on this, as well as the salsa, all of that is offering me fiber and a variety of nutrients that are all different colors. So that's gonna provide me with different vitamins and minerals from iron to B vitamins to fat soluble vitamins like A, D, and K. And another important thing to note about this meal is that I use an almond flour tortilla instead of just a regular like whole wheat flour, which would provide me with more starchy or sugary carbohydrate. But since this is almond flour, it's higher in fat and protein, so I need to make up for that sugary starchy carb that's not there. And in this case, I added grapes to my plate to provide that sugary carbohydrate so that I have that energy rich carb on my plate. You also want to make sure that you're adding something to the meal that's going to make it satisfying. So it could just be balanced and that in itself makes it satisfying. Or for me, adding more hot sauce on top as like a condiment adds a little bit of spiciness and to me that's more satisfying. Since you're a unique individual, you have unique nutrition needs, this means that your plate at breakfast is going to look different than my plate and than anyone else's. You need to be able to create a plate that works for you, that is going to provide you with the proper amount of calories for your age, your activity level, your unique needs and medical conditions. So if you need to work one-to-one -one with a practitioner, like a registered dietitian like myself, you can reach out to me in the show notes below. I have the link to all of my programs. And if you found this video interesting and helpful, please give it a like and subscribe for more nutrition videos just like this one. Thanks so much for watching.